Hello YouTube and welcome to the Doctor's Archives Series 11 Episode 3 Rosa Just a big forewarning there will be spoilers in this video so if you want to keep spoiler free don't watch this until after you've seen the episode and secondly there will be some, a little bit of disturbing words in this due to the fact that they were used in the episode. Otherwise, you can continue to watch and enjoy. The episode opens with the theme. So it looks like every episode will without anything beforehand which happened in, um, in series 10 they had a theme play after a little bit of the episode a little sting but they don't have it in this one they all open with the theme oh excuse me The episode has realistic racism, segregation, where whites and blacks, so whites and colored people cannot be sitting or be, there's different seats in the, on a bus for white people and colored people. And you can't, a colored person can't sit on the white seats. The bus driver was very racist in the episode. To the point where Rosa paid for a ticket to use the bus. She was going to sit in the white seats. But the driver was racist and drove off after she was told to get on in the coloured and um, door. The doctor mentions that she lent Elvis a mobile phone and to not tell anyone. Ryan was slapped, and the slap was actually amazing. The way they filmed it. Ryan thinks Rosa is famous for being the first black bus driver. He actually does mention that in the episode. Just before um, one of the people come in, one of the waitresses come up, wait, waitresses comes over and says, we don't serve Negroes, which was said to Ryan, while for Yaz, it was mentioned that we don't serve Mexicans, but as you find out later in the episode, she's not Mexican, she's Pakistani. Looks like the main villain, actually the main villain of the episode, was Quasco, who wanted to change history so that what happened with Rosa never happened and racism is still real. Like it was back in 1955. The villain knows of the TARDIS and has a vortex manipulator and is also part of the storm cage prison facility in the future will we ever see that again i don't know big theory yaz and ryan become a couple by the end of the series 
because they share some great moments together in the episode that would indicate that. The Doctor and Graham act like they're a couple to hide Yaz and Ryan. Police calls Ryan a Negro and Yaz a Mexican. But, anyway, let me continue. Graham is pretending to be Steve Jobs and tells the police officer he is trying to show off an iPhone. He actually describes what exactly what an iPhone is. A telephone that can do play music, be a calendar, and send off letters. That's what he described it as. And the police officer says, that's ridiculous. There is a point in the episode where Graham literally misses Grace. Because Grace would have put up a fight for what was happening in the episode, the racism. Yaz is Pakistani and is let in the white seats while Ryan is forced in the back of the bus. <clears throat> the middle of the bus is for colored, but if needed, is to be given up for white people. Yeah. If white people sit in those colored seats in the middle, they're meant to be given up for white people. I mean, you gotta give up your seats, you gotta give up your seats, but not in that sense, I don't like that. Ryan tries to help Rosa, and while he is, he meets Martin Luther King. I say, the villain wanted to kill Rosa. Quasco wanted to kill Rosa, but he can't kill. He tried with the doctor after she destroyed his manipulator, but his implant does not let him kill due to the fact that he's on a prison in the future where the storm cage, where they actually put in implants in the hair, in the brain. To stop people from being violent. Now I can delete that because people are starting to not like that. So it's, just, it's like a spoiler. I was. Let me just finish reading. Quasco wants to change history so that the Rosa Parks bus incident does not happen. We find out that Yaz wants to be in charge of the police station she works for. Um, Graham wants to get off the bus. at their stop but he doesn't get off because the doctor says that they're part of the Rosa Parks history and Graham does not want to be a part of it he just doesn't want to be a part of it then you see police officers come in and start destroying like literally coming in and they literally take Rosa Parks to away from the bus due to the fact that she was sitting in a white seat, a white person's seat instead of a coloured seat because she was asked to give up her seat. So she sat in the white seats. Fair point. 
she wanted to use the bus. She was going to sit down and use the bus, but she was told to give up her seat. So she turned another seat to sit down and use. But because of the segregation, basically she could not sit in the white seat. And this has actually opened, well, it's a very inspiring episode for the fact that it will open up people's eyes to the fact that racism is wrong and has always been wrong and it's very informative by teaching people about Rosa Parks. This episode is a 10 out of 10. I literally loved the episode. And the next episode is the one This has the scene that I saw when I go back to Sheffield. And the doctor is like, Oh goody, I got you back home. Finally, back home at last. I saw it from filming. The episode is entitled Arachnids in the UK. Yeah. Now I have a big question. Is the actress who plays Rosa actually American? Because her accent is really good if she is British. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode, next Doctor's Archives episode where we will talk about arachnids in the UK. Thank you for watching and bye.